beyond Saturn, they remain connected with the development of mankind for a long time. Thus they have important work to perform on man in subsequent cycles as well. This work always acts as an inoculation with selfhood. The degenerations of selfhood into selfishness must be ascribed to their activity, while on the other hand they are the originators of all of man's independence. Without them man would never have become a self-enclosed entity, a personality. Christian esoteric teaching uses the expression, primal beginnings, archai for them, and in theosophical literature they are designated as a thorus. The work of these spirits is succeeded around the middle of the fifth Saturn cycle by that of the sons of fire, who, at this stage, still have a dull image consciousness, similar to the moon consciousness of man. They attain the stage of humanity only on the next planet, the sun. Their work here is therefore to a certain degree still unconscious and dreamlike. But it is through them that the activity of the sensory germs from the